Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z. And I'm back with more games from our 1955 Washington Senators year season, season replay. Loving it. We have two games today against Cleveland. And uh, our workhorse, Schmitz, is going to be leading off as the first pitcher in that um, series. And then we're going to go to Dean Stone. So let's go to the day. And there you go. There you can see Schmitz. There he is. And uh, I think we are ready to play, right? We're going to play day. And we're going to put in the manual. And then uh, he is Herb Score, Schmitz. Ooh, got a tough, he drew a tough card this time. Going up against Herb Score of Cleveland. And uh, we will, uh, we'll go with that. And then, of course, they're going to show me the, uh, uh, you know, the game situation, the game, whatever. And here we are. Johnny Rowe going up against Herb Score. Let's just get this party started. And he's going to fly out to the left fielder, Kiner. Ralph Kiner. And that is going to be a strikeout for Pete Runnels. So that brings up Mickey Vernon. And Mickey Vernon's going to ground out, and that's going to be it for Washington in the top of the first. And now Johnny Schmitz, our workhorse, that guy, going out against Ferris Fane. He is pitching to Ferris Fane, and he gets hit ground down. And you know, another great story, you've heard me tell a story before about my father. Well, another great story was... I was, we, um, I got one of those old sets from Strat when I was a kid, when I was young, and I was making fun of Ferris Fane's name, and he said, listen, you have no idea about Ferris Fane, which I didn't, but anyway, I digress. Here we are, Bobby Avila coming up against Schmitz with one down, and he walks. He walks Bobby Avila. That brings up Al Smith. And the ceiling has been reduced to 5%, so I'm guessing he's not going to try it. Mickey Vernon, come on, Vernon, make that play. Double play, Mickey Vernon, nice. So we got Ray, Roy Seavers leading off as a turb score. Uh, by the way, I didn't. I don't know if I mentioned, I think I think did, though. This is only going to be a two-game series. Both games, I'm televising both games. Carlos Paula up and away, and he hits a home run. Carlos Paula! Off Herb score. Who would have thought that? And that brings up Tom Umflett. And Tom Umflett walks. Uh, you know, any kind of offense you can get from Tom Umflett, you'll take it. Ed Fitzgerald is up, and he singles. And we are all over Herb score all of a sudden. I mean, there's only one out. And Valdiviso with the runners at the corners. And he hits a triple one to eight or a single double blasters. That's going to knock in a run. So now we are got a 2 nothing lead, and of course, Schmidt just has to stop. And he's going to strike out. But he's our workhorse, man. Johnny Grow is up, and he's going to hit a fly to center, and that's Larry Doby, unfortunately, and unfortunately also Larry Doby is a one in center field. So we go down there, but we do get two runs, and now Al Rosen is up, and that's going to be another ground ball to our sure-handed Vernon at first. One away, Ralph Kiner up. And this was a good version of Ralph Kiner. I don't know if this was near the end of his career or not, but he was still pretty good. And then that brings up Larry Doby, the guy who just made that last play to retire us. He grounds out to Runnels, and up steps Washington, up to nothing with... Yes, a walk to Pete Runnels. And I don't remember, I, I mean, I've, I've looked at the 55 Senators schedule. I don't remember what we did against Cleveland. I think they lost both of these games to Cleveland. And Vernon singles through the hole between second and first. 
And now Seavers is up with runners at the corners, no outs, and he strikes out. Are you kidding me, Seavers? All right. So that will bring up Carlos Paulo, who hit a home run last time, if you remember, and he's going to hit into a double play. Thank you. So we didn't get any runs there. I mean, I'm just going to sum that up. Jim Hegan, Jim Hegan's going to ground out. But Johnny Schmitz, man, I mean, the guy is on top of his game, as he always has been. Strickland is up, and he is going to hit a single. One to seven, a single one to seven, he gets a one. All right, so Herb score is up at least if they don't pinch hit for him. And, they don't. and he is going to get a single. Are you kidding me? All right, Ferris Fane, the aforementioned Ferris Fane hits a single. He's going to knock it on a run, maybe. But he doesn't. So let's hope for a double play right here. That's going to be a pop out to first base. As soon as it happens, Vernon will put that away. There's two down. We just need to get the next guy, and that's Al Smith. But we didn't. And that may knock in two runs. It doesn't, though. Oh, yes, it does. Yes, it does. So uh, it's 2-2. Two, two. Al Rosen up, and he's going to knock it. Go ahead and run. And now um, I'm going to throw for the lead runner, and we do get him. Nice. But they did get – they took a lead. They have a 3-2 lead on them now. But that's going to be a single thing for Umflet. Umflet, man. I'm getting a little offense from him. It's nice. Ed Fitzgerald. Ed Fitzgerald walks. I think that's going to go. Oh, no. Valdivizo was up. Nice. Ah, oh, God. Come on, Valdivizo. You got to get a hit, man. I mean, now I got Schmidt's hit. And he gets a ground ball to first. That's Ferris Fane. Not a good feeling first baseman. And we tie the game at three. And that brings it up. Johnny Rowe, and he's going to hit a ground ball short, and we're out of the inning. But we did tie the game, and here's Ralph Kiner. He's going to be out. Larry Doe, and he's going to hit a fly to center, and that's on Umflet. Usually Umflet is my defensive replacement, but... Um, yeah, they decided to put him in the line of today, and, and, and hey, I'm not going to complain. So we've got Pete Runnels coming up in the top of the fifth, tie game at three, and he rounds out to Avila. And Cleveland this year was, was a pretty good team, too. Vernon, Vernon drawing the walk. That brings up Roy Seavers, and Seavers is going to strike out. So there's two down, and that brings up Carlos Paula. And he walks. Carlos Paula has been kind of a star for this game. And Umblet, speaking of stars, okay, he struck out. So we go to the bottom of the fifth, tie game at three. He schmitz on top of his game as usual. Well, all right, I don't want to see really on top of his game. He had that one terrible inning. But Herb's pitching, Herb score. Ground ball back to the pitcher, and he's out, and that brings Ferris Fane, and Ferris Fane singles. Up step Bobby Avila, and he's going to ground out. We go to the top of the sixth, tie game. That's going to be a line out for Gerald. Valdivizo is up. Valdivizo hit the home run. Are you kidding? Well, no, they might rob it. Let's hope they don't rob it. No, it's it's gone. It's gone. So Johnny Schmitz, Johnny Schmitz hit ground ball to Strickland short, and he is out. And now wait. What happened there? Oh, okay. I guess there was only two outs. Johnny Rowe. 
and Johnny Grow with a single. Pete Runnels up. Pete Runnels hit a fly ball to Dobie, which is not going to help anybody on Washington. So we, but we do go ahead. We're ahead, we're ahead four three, and then uh, Al Smith has to lead off with a single. Al Rosen's up, and we're going to throw for the runner, and we don't. Get him. And then he walks, so that was a wasted attempt at a stolen base. With Kiner up, and he's going to hit a ground ball into double play. The the uh, pitcher's best friend, twin killing Larry Doby up, and Larry Doby walks. That's okay. We got two outs as long as that doesn't force a run home. That does though, and that's going to force in two runs on a triple one, and then he gets the one. Cleveland takes a one run lead. And then they take a bigger lead with a home run by George Strickland, the shortstop. Oh no, it's a triple, but anyway, but still a lot of bad stuff. And now Herb score up with the, oh, they're gonna pinch hit. Well, good. Vic Wirtz, and Vic Wirtz, of course, comes in and hits a home run. Two-run homer, and now that's going to be it for Schmitz. I'm going to get Schmitz. He's done. Yeah, and yeah, and he's tired. He's telling me. He's like, dude, not only are you, have you better come out here, but I am tired. I got to admit. So, um, let's see. Who doesn't pitch very often for us? who has some innings. Uh, Spec Shea. Yeah, I guess we can go with Spec Shea. So Spec Shea comes in pitch. And of course, he's up give a single one. And it's a single. Bobby Avila. Bobby Avila is going to line out. That's the first time I've seen a split go against the Indians lately. Vernon. Vernon leads off with a single, but, you know, we got to get four runs. Taking us six innings just to get the first for four. And that's a strikeout by Seavers. Now we're, we're facing Don Mossy. So we got Carlos Paula up facing Mossy, and he's going to out for the second out of the set. And Umflit is up, and he's going to be out. Spec Shigo going out to face Al Smith. Ground ball to short. That's Valdiviso. Hopefully he makes the play. Uh, he does not. He makes an error, as a matter of fact. And then that brings up Rosen. And Rosen walks. Make everything a little worse. Ralph Kiner is up. Ralph Kiner is going to hit a fly by the center. The sure-handed umplet is out there. Larry Doby's up. Larry Doby walks to load the bases with one out. Spec Shea getting himself a little bit of a jam here. And it's a huge jam. He just gives up a grand salami to Jim Hegan. So, really, Cleveland's all over us like flies on you know what. All right. George Strickland is up. We're losing 12 4. Not a good time. Not at all. Don Mossy is up. Hey, that's uh, in easy for Spec Shea to end the inning. But not before he gives up a lot of runs. And now Ed Fitzgerald is up. 
He's going to hit a ground ball off of Ferris Fain at first. And he's out. Valdezzo is two for three. He's out. And I guess Spec Shea has had enough, so we're going to pinch hit for him just because. Um, I will. Who's a guy who doesn't pinch hit a lot? Well, or play a lot. How about Harmon Killebrew? Harmon Killebrew on his last legs. We will pinch hit. Give him time. Gives him playing time. And he gets a single. I, I mean, I don't, I don't know why I'm so excited about that. But Johnny Grow is up, and he's going to hit a fly ball. And we're going to go to the bottom of the ninth. And I will put in a new pitcher, of course. And that will be... All right, let's get his his card out of the way. Clark, I don't think, has pitched yet. No, he hasn't. Or, yes, he has. He's pitched two innings. Is there anybody that ha hasn't pitched yet? Um, yeah, this is mostly starters. All right, I'm going to put in Clark just because it's only one inning. And he allows a single. Bottom of the eighth. Bobby Avila. He allows us another single. This Clark guy, Webo Clark, he's not that good. Foul out to the catcher. And Rosen is up, and he's going to hit a ground ball. B. And that brings up Ralph Kiner. And Ralph Kiner lines up to third. And now we're up Pete Runnels hitting the ground ball for Ferris Fain, who's misplayed everything that's been hit at him pretty much, and he boots another one. Vernon up. Vernon with a single. Of course, you know, you have to you're sitting here and you have to say, well, yeah, but are we gonna do this for eight runs? No. Um I am going to hold the runner. Because we need base runner. That's what we need. Ground ball be by receivers. That brings up Carlos Paula one for three today, and he singles two for four. Old runners. I mean, we're making the game look better, but that doesn't really count for anything. There's going to be a double by Umflit. Don Mossy's like, whoa, and he is tired. That brings up Fitzgerald. Let's see if they bring somebody in for Fitzgerald. They do. They're going to bring in Bob Feller. I'm guessing this was just the end. Maybe this was the end, or maybe it was the start of Bob Feller's career. I don't know. I'm going to hold the runners. And we got Valdivizo up. I mean, now it's really interesting. It's too bad we were as bad as we were. Because we might have actually almost come back in this game. But we didn't. And Webbo Clark. And I'm just going to let Webbo Clark hit and strike out. So uh, let's get the box score on that. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Um, we lost 12-8. I mean, we weren't going to get another four runs, okay? I mean, if you're, if you're out there thinking, well, why didn't you pinch hit? Well, because who cares? We weren't going to get four more runs before we had another out. Um, 
So, yeah, that really ruined Schmitz. I mean, it put a loss on his record, and his ERA went from like 2.7 something to 4.55. And, um, and we go to 5 and 6 on the year. The Indians are 7 and 5. So that's that. Now, in this, for this next game, I am going to see, I want to see if, I want to go, first of all, let's go to league stats, and I want to see the injuries, because I want to check on the injury to, uh, to Yost, Eddie Yost. So you can see us right there. We're five and six, two and a half games back of New York. Um, let's go to injury report. And if you look down, Yost is out for one more game. So he's just got to miss this game coming up right here. See, look, we've lost 13 games to injury. We are the worst team in the league, and we easily lead the league in lost games to injury, man games lost to injury, and by double of the next team. And we really don't need that. All right, so we're going to play the day. Uh, we're going to go Dean Stone, of course, as I said, and we're just going to go with the lineup he puts out there. There's the stats for the day, Wednesday, April 27th. Um, yeah. Take an eye on the Indians. So we got uh, Bob Lemon. I mean, it doesn't get any easier, does it? Johnny Grove facing Bob Lemon. And he's going to fly out to Doby. For the first out. At least Yoke comes back after this. That's going to be a great down ball but first by Oravets. And Pete Runnels. Pete Runnels with a nice uh, All right. Like the Santa on uh, um, a Christmas story. How about a nice uh, single? <laughs> Uh, and then you got fly ball by Vernon. And we're out of the first day. And now we got Dean Stone going up against Ferris Fane. And he's out. That brings up Baba Vila. Baba Vila is going to hit a single. Al Smith. He's going to walk. Al Rosen. Al Rosen's going to walk. Dean Stone just no interest at all in picking well here early. And then uh, I'm going to get a single one to eight and hit a two. And I'm going to I'm going to stop the other runners from scoring or from advancing. So it's two nothing. He strikes out Larry Doby though. But we're losing 2 nothing, And uh, Jim Higgins up. And he's going to get a swing to 5. Are you kidding me? need some of these. All right. George Strickland up. And he's going to fly out. So, so the damage is limited to the two runs. But uh, that could be enough. I mean, really. Let's be honest. Seavers is up. And he's going to fly out. That brings up Carlos Paula. Carlos Paula with a strikeout. And that brings up El Deviso. And he's going to hit a ground ball to ball the second baseman of Vila, who's a three. And that's it. So Bob Lemon is up against Dean Stone, and he strikes him out. Dean Stone strikes out Lemon. That brings up Paris Fain. He lines up to the second. Could have used this back in the first inning, this outing. And then that brings up Avila. 
and he strikes out. So Stone seems to have come down, but now our offense needs to get up. And, and that's going to be a fly ball by Bruce Edwards, the man with all the walks on his card. Love that guy. Because that's really what I did. His, basically, his card look, would look like mine. Dean Stone, because I could not hit. I'll be honest with you. Couldn't hit to save my life. Johnny Growth. And he's he out. We're going to the bottom of the third. 2 nothing Indians with the Indians up. And they hit a single. Al Rosen's up. And Al Rosen hits a two-run home run. Home run one to five. He gets a three. Of course he does. Because of course he does. All right, it's uh, four nothing. Now we're looking good, and then there's a walk, and Larry Doby's up, and Larry Doby hits a fly side in there. It's Oravet, so who's going to probably kick the ball around the outfield a little bit? No, he's out. He made the he made the play. Holy crap! And then there's a fly ball by Ian again to Oravets. And that's two away. And then that brings up Strickland. And Strickland is out. All right, so now we're down 4 nothing. Now, we did have an impressive... We put together an impressive ninth inning last time, so let's hope for one of those innings here. Oravets, though, um, looks like he's going to be out. And, then and Runnels is up. And Runnels is out. And that brings up Vernon. And Vernon strikes out. Dean Stone out to the mound again. So far he's pitched three innings. Two of them have been bad. Line out. So Ferris Fane is up. And Ferris Fane, of course, they get one. Every time these Indians have split, they get a low number. Every time. I'm not even kidding about that. But that's a good double play that'll get um, Stone out of the fourth. So he's pitched four innings, two of them bad. Not very good. Roy Seaver's up, and he singles. I mean, we got to get four runs somehow. Paula. Paula is going to triple in um, Seaver's. And then he's going to be 90 feet away after that. So that's not bad, but we got to get him in. We got to make sure, absolutely, we've got to get him. We do. The Valdiviso singles him in. That brings up Bob Edwards, who should, um, or Bruce Edwards, who's going to line out into a double play. And then Dean Stone. But we got the two runs. We got the two runs, cut the lead in half, four to two. Let's hope we can uh, build on that a little later. And that Stone doesn't do his every other inning bad. And that is the first split that I've seen go against the Indians. Single, one to four, and they got an 11. Al Rosen is up, and he walks. Ralph Kiner is up. He hits a fly ball right over the field. And Larry Doby is up. With two down, and he strikes out. So Stone, I'm not going to say that he settled down because the last time I did that, he went out and had a, dropped another two spots against us. So we've got a line out for Johnny Growth, who has built in admirably. Well, um, uh, Yost has been out. Oravets walks and Runnels is up and he hits a new double play. The worst thing he can do, Runnels. Worst thing. All right. Bottom of the sixth. Stone out there again pitching. He walks Hegan. Strickland up. Strickland hits into a double play. Thank you, Strickland. And that brings up. Bob Lemon, who singles. 
and then that brings up Ferris Spain, and who walks. So the Indians have two guys on here in the sixth. Stone is tired, but I'm going to try to at least get him out of this inning. And he does get a pop out by Avila. I'm bring that up Mickey Vernon, and he flies out. We're in the top of the seventh, down by two. That's, that's, I mean, that's doable. That's that's kind of doable. See where he's up, and he's going to ground out. Even for the 55 Senators, that's doable. And then uh, Carlos Palma, and he flies out. And then I'm going to have to take Dean Stone out of the game. Okay, let's go to, yeah, let me, I'm going to try to see how far he can go. Ground ball pitch here, because I know he's tired. Um, Al Rosen. Al Rosen's out. out. Dean Stone, he's on view booms out there, but he's loving it. And the ground ball to Valdiviso could get us out of the inning. And it does. So the tired stone got me another inning, which is going to be huge because he's coming up this this uh, inning. Valdivizo is up, and he is going to be just out. Bruce Edwards, the walk man, does not walk. And then Dean Stone, and we will, of course, pinch hit for him because I would not even send him out there again. Tired. Um, a righty, so yeah, McDermott, he's my left-handed pinch hitter, as well as another starter on the team. Mickey McDermott is going to, are you kidding me? All right, he's just shaking up, and he'll be all right, so that's good. Um, I, now, I could keep him in the pitch, but I'm not going to because he's a starter. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to bring in Chikales or Chikals, or I, I don't even know how you pronounce his name. But anyway, he's out there to pitch. And I hold this game right where it is, but he doesn't. Well, I mean, we don't know that he doesn't, but leading off in a bad fashion by giving up a lead off double to Dobie. Mike he or Jim Jim Hegan, I'm going to throw to the runner. Yes, he's out. Nice, nailed him. So Jim Hegan up, and he grounds out. And that brings up George Strickland. He's going to be out. No, he's not. I mean, yes, he is. So, no, he did. He singled. All right. Uh, so let's see what happens here. They bring in Hoot Evers to pinch hit. And Hoot Evers gets a single. And then Fane is up and he strikes out. So Kaylees does get us out of the inning without allowing any more runs. But now we got to get to right here. And Johnny Growth is leading that charge by striking out. To Jose Santiago, who I think they got the wrong Jose Santiago. He is an Indian, but I think he's a more recent Indian. Wrong pitcher. Uh, Ernie Oravets is up, and he's flying out. And that brings up uh, Runnels, and he strikes out. Nothing! You lose! Good day, sir! So, we lost 4 to 2. Very, very upsetting loss. But, I, like I said, I think in real life we lost those two games as well. Uh, so, you got Stone going 7, giving up 7 hits, 4 earned runs. And Jacaley's pitching 1 and giving up no earned runs. But more importantly, you have us losing. 
and uh, we will look at the uh, league stats. So there we are, five and seven. We are better than Chicago so far, the White Sox, and we are also better than the Orioles. And the Orioles were another horrible team. I don't remember the. I think the White Sox actually were good that year. The White Sox won ninety games, I think. Surprising to see them where they are. So anyway, um, we lose two. We got to regroup, but we're going to get Yost back for the next game. That's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.